we want to solve the given equation. For the first step, we clear the parentheses on the right side by distributing two. We have one fourth x plus one half equals distributing two, two times four fifths x is equal to eight fifths x. To show some work, if we want to multiply two and four fifths, remember we write two as two over one times four fifths. There are no common factors between the numerators and denominators, and therefore we just multiply the numerators and denominators, which gives us eight fifths, which is the reason why this product is eight fifths x. And then we have two times three, which is six, giving us plus six. And now we add or subtract to isolate the variable terms on one side of the equation. Let's isolate the variable terms on the left. Let's undo this positive eight-fifths x by subtracting eight-fifths x on both sides. And now we simplify. To help us determine one-fourth x minus eight-fifths x, let's determine one-fourth minus eight-fifths here on the right. Notice the least common denominator is going to be four times five or 20, and therefore we need to write both fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of 20. And therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator of one-fourth by five, and the numerator and denominator of eight-fifths by four. Notice now we do have a common denominator of 20, and the numerator is now five minus 32, which is negative 27. So this difference here is negative 27 twentieths x. And we still have plus one half equals on the right. This difference is zero and we still have six. And now to isolate the variable term, we undo the plus one half by subtracting one half on both sides. Simplifying, we have negative 27 twentieths x and then one half minus one half is zero. On the right side we have six minus one half, which is five and a half, which we want as an improper fraction. Five and a half will have a denominator of two, and the numerator is two times five plus one, which is 11. Or we can actually find this difference by writing six as a fraction with the denominator of one. So we have six over one minus one half. The LCD is two. We multiply the top and bottom of six over one by two. Notice now we have a common denominator of two, and the numerator is 12 minus one, which is 11. Either way, the difference is 11 halves. And now for the last step, we multiply or divide to solve for x. Negative 27 twentieths x means negative 27 twentieths times x. So we may be thinking we should divide by this fraction, Remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, and therefore, for the last step, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by a negative 20 27ths. On the left, we're multiplying by reciprocals, and therefore, the product is one times x or x, or if we want to show the simplifying, there is 120 and 20 here and here, and there's 127 and 27 here and here, which gives us negative one times negative one times x, which is one x or just x. And on the right side, notice here we have a common factor of two between two and negative 20. We have one, two, and two, and 10 twos and 20. And now we multiply, being careful of the signs, in the numerator we have 11 times negative 10, which is negative 110, and the denominator is one times 27 or 27. So this is the solution to the equation. Let's also write this as a mixed number. To convert to a mixed number, we will ignore the sign for a moment and divide 110 by 27. There are four 27s in 110. Four times 27 is 108. We subtract the difference is two. The quotient is four and two twenty-sevenths, which means as a mixed number, we can express the solution as negative four 
and two twenty sevenths. I hope you found this helpful.